Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the Academy of Model Aeronautics invites the world to discover flight, the Bombardier CS100 certification is on target, Technam opens shop in China. I'm Brie Cross, it's October 19th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The Academy of Model Aeronautics, known as the AMA, and its community of more than 187,000 members across the globe are uniting to welcome and encourage the next generation of model aviation enthusiasts. In a public awareness campaign titled Discover Flight, AMA will show the world why it's never been a more important or exciting time to take to the skies. Bob Brown, the president of AMA, said, quote, We're thrilled to embark on this new journey in our history and to open the world to model aviation like we've never done before. With this campaign, we're telling the public the story of AMA and how model aviation is evolving and shaping tomorrow's leaders. We're engaging new and existing members to share their experiences, and we're opening the doorway to discovery for an entirely new generation of modelers." End quote. AMA is asking the question, are you AMA? They are inviting everyone to visit the Discover Flight website at discoverflight.org to watch a captivating video, learn more about the association, and begin a journey to discovering flight. Bombardier says its all-new CS-100 aircraft has successfully completed over 90% of the certification program and is now in the final stages of flight testing that will include a few weeks of function and reliability tests. Bombardier's Rob Dewar said, quote, The function and reliability tests, which will be conducted using typical airline flight routings and operational procedures, will include about 15 representative airports in Canada and 20 in the United States. In the last month, Bombardier announced it had completed all noise performance testing, and data confirms it is the quietest in-production commercial jet in its class. Earlier this year, Bombardier announced that the C-Series aircraft's maximum range is confirmed to be up to 3,300 nautical miles, which is some 350 nautical miles more than originally targeted. According to Bombardier, this last phase of flight testing puts them on track to certification by the end of 2015. The aircraft is expected to see operation with the launch customer Swiss, in the first half of 2016. After the break, the grass is green for Technam in China. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com the KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The name Technam has been synonymous with recreational aviation in the United States because of their line of light sport aircraft. It now looks like the commercial and recreational market in China has opened new opportunities for this light aircraft manufacturer. The Italian-based Technam has announced an agreement with Liaoning United Aviation, Xinjiang Aircraft Company, to produce three Technam airplane models in China. The Chinese company will manufacture three Technam models exclusively for China-based customers, which are the Technam 2006 T-Twin, the two-seater 2008 JC, and four-seater Technam P-2010. The first aircraft on the production line will be the Technam 2006T. This best-selling twin is already fully certified and validated by the China's Civil Aviation Authority. Technam says the ever-growing demand for air transportation in China is resulting in the demand for over 500,000 commercial pilots to be trained over the next few decades. 
This cooperation between TACNAM and Xinyang Aircraft is primarily in place to support the need to develop and to train a new generation of skilled pilots in China. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off and left. This video features some amazing scenes of the 2015 Women in Aviation International's Girls in Aviation Day. This video provides inspirational viewing for anyone. Search Girls in Aviation Day Navigate Your World on YouTube. After these messages, Textron chooses Wichita. Now certified Aspen Avionic single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Midwest aircraft manufacturing capital of Wichita, Kansas, got some good news. The Kansas Department of Commerce and Textron Aviation have reached a deal to build the new Citation Longitude Jet in Wichita and other projects may be in the future. EASA and the FAA recently signed Change 5 to the Maintenance Annex Guidance of the EU-FAA Bilateral Aviation Safety Agreement. The changes affect the administration of repair stations and a thorough review of the latest maintenance annex guidance is encouraged. U.S. Senator Charles Schumer is proposing legislation in the upcoming FAA reauthorization bill that would require drones to have geofencing and transponder technology. Once again, we see Congress legislating as a band-aid to cover up the FAA's lack of UAV regulations. Gulfstream announced that their G500 has achieved several flight test milestones, including surpassing more than 100 hours of flight. The accomplishments come just one year after Gulfstream announced the kickoff of the all-new G500 and G600 aircraft programs. Portland, Oregon-based Seaport Airlines has sold its Wings of Alaska division to Fjord Flying Services, an air charter company based in Gustavus, Alaska. The Wings of Alaska name will continue, but it will operate more as an air taxi service than a scheduled airline. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. According to reports, Google has registered two fixed-wing multi-engine UAVs with the FAA, but how they intend to use the aircraft is still unclear. Engadget reports that the aircraft seem to be of a different design than Google's Project Wing aircraft that was tested mostly unsuccessfully as a delivery system in Australia. The two new designs, codenamed M2 and B3, were registered with the FAA this month. The website Recode cites that sources familiar with the company said Google's new aircraft are associated with Project Titan, under which the company hopes to use high-altitude UAVs to offer wireless internet connectivity to underserved areas. Google acquired Titan Aerospace last year with the intention of exploring the use of UAVs as internet connectivity relays. Both designs are fixed-wing aircraft, powered by two electric motors weighing less than 55 pounds, and the FAA website confirms that they have been issued registration in numbers. 
Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.